Then it's really Okay, so I want to start off with all of you imagining something. For a moment, imagine a world without dolphins, whales, sea turtles, or sharks. Imagine a time where you're having a conversation with maybe a young child about one of these animals, and they have no idea what you're talking about. Not because they're too young to recognize these animals, but because the animal simply does not exist. All right, cool. And I know this might seem like an over-exaggerated Example. However, it can be very possible in the near future if we don't take care of our uh, take care of our oceans. Hi, I'm Sarah Fumagali, and I'm the manager of fundraising for Oceana. I've been working for them for six years. Oceana is a nonprofit, and they are the largest international organization dedicated to ocean conservation. During my six years at Oceana, I witnessed their passion for protecting the oceans, and I have noticed how much they want to take care of all the animals within it. They're striving to protect the ocean by putting wildlife, by um, putting money towards promoting responsible fishing practices, by protecting marine wildlife, and by stopping ocean pollution. Today I'm coming here to talk to you about um, how much help we still need in order to help the oceans. I'm here to ask you for $10,000 to support our cause and to help promote taking care of the animals and the ocean. You take care of the, o take care of the animals, excuse me, within the ocean and our great blue sea. Um, I'm also here to tell you how I think it would be a perfect fit for Disney and, um, and for Oceana, working together within having that donation, and about some of the work that Oceana has done and the future work that still needs to be done in order to improve our oceans. I think this donation would be the perfect match both of our organizations because Oceana's main goal is in perfect alignment with Disney's philanthropic goals. Your company has an entire fund dedicated to nature conservation. Directly quoting from the conservation page of your website, the Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund provides financial support for the study of wildlife, the protection of habitats, and community conservation and education. The goal is to support conservation organizations focused on long-term positive impacts from wildlife and habitats. This fits perfectly with Oceana's mission to protect ocean habitats, educate people on proper fishing techniques, and to help the ocean in the long term so that it can be a thriving entity that is not endangered by overfishing, bottom trawling, and mercury poisoning. The Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund has donated $20 million since it was first developed in 1995 to the present day. This money has been given to foundations dedicated to conservation, just like Oceana. We are striving to save the quality of the ocean and the marine life within it so that all of the wonderful things that we have come to love about the ocean will be here for generations to come. At Oceana, we are working to save the oceans so it continues to be a source of food, of food, entertainment, and wonder for years to come. We put our energy into working with scientists and lawmakers to achieve our goals. Ultimately, a huge way we can save the ocean is by working with countries that hold jurisdiction over the different areas. Educating people on how to reduce pollution and proper fishing practices is extremely helpful, but we find that getting ocean-friendly legislation passed is a major part of our success. This is just a few examples of some of our major successes. We have worked with the European Union to get a law passed to where um, people running boats will get fines or jail time for illegally dumping oil. And by doing this and getting this passed, we've prevented 20 million tons of oil from being dumped into the ocean each year. We've also gotten legislation passed in Alaska with something called the Oceana Approach. It's a federal regulation that prohibits bottom trawling, and this protects an area three times the size of California. We've also been able to get legislation passed with Arctic waters in the United States. We've worked with them to um, get something that prohibits the expansion of industrial fishing in the Arctic beyond the Barents Strait. And this is saving 640 million acres of ocean, which is equal to a quarter of the United States. This is the largest cautionary measure ever taken in fishing history. And this is the largest area Ocean Anna has ever had the pleasure to protect. We've had a lot of success, but it's not enough. The ocean is 71% of our Earth. So there's still a lot of space to be covered, 
and a lot of animals to make sure that they're protected. We have to protect them for pollution and the poor fishing practices that are being implemented today in our fishing industry. Our ocean needs to be saved as a resource and a magical part of our world for our future and for our children so they can understand how beautiful the blue, blue ocean is and how wonderful it is to see dolphins you know, swimming around and to really understand what it's like to experience that. So this is something that definitely still needs to be contributed to and it's definitely still a worthy cause. To give you a few examples of things that we need to work on, I'm gonna to talk to you about turtles and sharks. So the first thing is turtles. There are six species of sea turtles in the United States that are threatened or endangered. And this is because of things such as um, fishing gear that's not really built to be turtle friendly. Things like long lines, trawls, dredges, they kill um, 1,000 sea turtles every single year due to this. And also things such as um, marine debris. They end up getting caught in it and they can't get out and they ultimately end up dying. Um, they're also victims of bycatch, which is when they are caught and they're not really meant to be caught and they just kind of get thrown back into the sea and they might not be in the best condition that they originally were in. Therefore, it causing them to be injured and not really to have an easy way of survival and then eventually they die. Um, also, um, Oceana, we are working to, we're working with scientists to find new fishing practices that will help the, that will, that will help the fishermen and the sea turtles. So fishermen can go off and get the fish they want without accidentally catching a sea turtle accidentally, you know, harming them. We're also working with governments to get legislation passed in order to protect them and their habitats. Another animal I would like to talk about are sharks in general. I know sharks seem kind of scary, especially from the movie Jaws, but they're a very important part of our ecosystem. Shark populations are crashing. 50 shark species are vulnerable, endangered, or critically endangered. Researchers in Canada and the United States recently did a study that was recently published in Marine Policy, and they found that 100 million sharks are being lost each year due to bad fishing practices and pollution. Also, the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, or IU and IUCN, has put sharks on a list of threatened species and the greatest percentage of threatened marine species in the ocean. Now, for us, we're trying to um, develop a ban that bans um, shark finning, because this is a very common practice. Fishermen will get the sharks, they'll cut off their fins, and they'll throw them back in the ocean. And fins are kind of important for sharks to swim around, so we're definitely working towards getting this banned and other mouth fishing practices that affect sharks. They're an extremely port important part of our ecosystem. They've been around for 400 million years, and they've been keeping our, um, the sea's ecosystem balanced for that amount of time. Without them, they won't be there to take care of you know, overpopulation, overpopulating of certain species of fish that kind of that just take over areas. It'll, it'll be devastating to our ecosystem. And especially because sharks are so slow maturing, um, and they have such few children, it's very important that we help to foster their growth and to protect them, because if we don't protect just the few sharks that are left, we'll, we'll never see them again. Um, at Oceana, we're also working to protect bluefin tuna, krill, dolphins, coral reefs, salmons, and whales. And it's very urgent at this time to help, keep, to help take care of these animals while they're still around. And even though they are endangered, we can't give up on them. So that's why I'm asking you, Disney, to donate $10,000 to help our cause. Because it would be great for you and it would be great for us. It would help you guys work towards your philanthropic goals and it would help us to meet our philanthropic goal as well. It would put you guys in a good light and would give you positive um, exposure like you, all, you guys always have for all the good work you do in the world. And it would help us to definitely to save more animals and to help protect more of our, um, more of our oceans. So I'm asking you for your support for the $10,000 to donate to our cause. The world needs our oceans, and the oceans need Oceana. Thank you so much for listening to my um, proposal, and I'd like to take any questions at this time.